Ah, uh, <laughs> sad, sad. Oh, he's a What's up, Omis? How are you guys doing? Uh, here we are for another edition, another episode. How is everybody today? Uh, watching your lovely names pop up in chat. I gotta get the thing going. All righty, so let's get this uh this show on the road. Let's uh swing it over to Mr. James Franklin. What's going on, Omis? Back at you again. It's Monday, so you know, vaping with the homies. It's that time. Today, let me see here. I am rocking my Cayman Dreamer number three of ten. Right there, if it'll focus. Focus hand. Focus. Bam. Three of ten. Right there. Rocking that peach tea by Coil Turd in there. As always, delicious vape. And then I've also got my Bonaspati nicely patinaed. I know some people don't like the look of it, but I'm actually kind of digging it. And that's got the matte black rebel with a frosted dock tip. Inside of that, I've got some of that superb white current. Mm. Bam, white current. Tried that. Mm. So good, so good. I picked it up when I was at ECC along with uh, this one right here. I'm not vaping on right now, but the white grape delicious both of them they also have a white peach it's really good too i gotta take a vape off this one too and then for my last tube i've got the ronin x2 tm24 pro with the eclipse cap that's the frosted white dude on there and inside of that oh dude this thing's banging and i actually get a lot uh i get really good flavor out of this cap compared to the one that's uh comes with it Anyways, inside that Turkish harvest, I know I've been telling you guys about this one too. I'm actually about done to, to the end of this one. Jeez. And as always, my below pod system, the mini fit. Just got some fresh pods in here, trying out some new juice. Got some of that uh, Yami Salts Jusu, 35 milligram. Absolutely loving this stuff. Thanks for swaggins that talked me into trying this one. Mm -mm. Apple. So apples and something else, but apples. Delicious. Delicious. It's like apple, peach, something, but it's good. And uh, that's it for me. So I'm going to pass it over to my boy, Oh My Lanta. What's going on, everyone? Another Monday? Hello. Uh, my setups are going to be the same. Hi. I got that. <laughs> that aluminum red dreamer. Drop dead. Black button with some Sammy Nitro coils installed. I had to put them in. They are phenomenal. With that, got that bookworm. Almost done. Second bottle, almost gone. You don't finish that tonight, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, dude, well, when you have the buffet, like it gets rotated in and out, you know what I mean? So it should be capped off tonight. Uh, with that, you want to get your own bottle, you can go over to EA Elixirs, He's only got the one juice, and if you put in the code worms and clowns, not the word and, but the symbol and clowns, you can get 20% off your first order. I highly recommend getting a bottle of it just to try it. It's so good. You might get another one. I might have to check that one out for sure. For sure. I'm telling you, those Sammy Nitro coils, this juice has never tasted better on anything that I've tried 200 mils out of. It's just Honestly, so Sammy Nitro co coils just kill it, period, bro. It doesn't matter so what you put on them. I'm glad he gave me so many more sets, you know? Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm going to run it. Everything's going to be Sammy Nitro coils in a couple. And they are so beautiful to look at, too, man. Oh, dude, they're so nice. So nice. Well made. Um, got my exotic. I have a coil image coil in here. And yeah, boy. With it. That is very, very good, too. And I'm still vaping that Turkish maize. Which Ooh, I need I've been, it. Dude, I've been taking it with me every day to work. I need it. Just, it tastes like the cereal pops, pretty much, is the best as I can describe it. And I used to eat a shit ton of pops back in the day. It's just one of my favorites. And last, I have my Twisted Purge. Ooh, pretty with the Warrior. With my Warrior on top. I really think that's a big combo. It's like one of those dock tips, dude. It's the knurling's really cool. I got that, and I'm trying to finish off. Um, Nublis. 
Alto Apple. It's just, I don't even know if they're still around. I got it one day in a clearance bin and it's just straight green apple. It's, it's delicious. I love it. Um, and that I also have coil images coils. So like I said, when these, you know, shit, then everything's going to Sammy nitro coils. But that's all I got. I'll pass it over to my boy Vapor Swaggins. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Let me just finish writing this diatribe in the in the private chat that you guys don't get to see because um, it's for special people and I'm special. Um, what am I vaping on? Shit. Well, I'll keep it simple this time because I've been called Mike, Mike Vapes on two shows now and I'm done with that. Um, <laughs> so on Friday so, too. <laughs> yeah, because I had like six setups because we don't have a limit on the stew. I was like, I'll just tell them everything that's next to me. I'm vaping on an L Thunder 2700 with the Cosmonaut on top. Um, inside of that, some super steep Millionaire OG. If you know me, I love that flavor, and you know that I love that flavor. Um, tastes like heaven in a bottle. I'm also vaping on the L Thunder 2700. Uh, with the Bestia RDA on top. Banging. Yeah, buddy. Uh, with some of that Baja Blast. Oh, even more banging, bro. Yeah, which I'm almost out of. I'm out uh, of Baja. Oh, you could just stop at that setup right there, bro, and you'd be good. Deal. All right, so let's go but, back no. to it. I'm vaping <laughs> on the L Thunder. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm vaping on the Warlocks Guardian Ooh, DNA psych. 250C. Mm. Holding out on us. He's holding out the goods for the last. I can't wait to get mine. Dude, oh, yeah. that thing is so beautiful, man. The warrior on top. I love this friggin' RDA, man. Um, it's, the door. it's fantastic. I got some coil image coils in here, some Fralians. And I'll tell you what, for somebody I hadn't heard of until my homies told me about him, these are banging coils. Um, I'm really, I'm really, really enjoying uh, the vape I get off of them. And more uh, importantly, the juice that I'm vaping uh, off of those coils is apple cream custard um, from mm. the legit line by Hometown Hero. I uh, I love this flavor. Um, I'm trying to expand my palate from lemons and mangoes. <laughs> and I think I've done a pretty good job. Uh, and then finally, I'm vaping the Infinix, but it's currently charging. Actually, it's done charging, so let's take a rip off of it. Ooh. I'm actually really surprised you're not raping Tango Melon tonight. He's getting away from it, man. I only have a little bit left, so I'm trying to savor it. So I'm going to pass it off to my boy, Poon Saucy Mick Nasty Pants. Okay, what's up, everybody? Uh, yeah, you guys can actually hear me now because I have a mic. It's great. Uh, okay, first setup I got going on. I changed up what I had on top of my Dreamer, so I got my electroplated black copper Dreamer. With the good 1.5 on top, with some what kind of coils? Do I have some? Are these these are coil turds, like the point ones, freaking aliens. They're awesome. And where's the juice I have in there? Right here. Okay, I got in there. I got some lemon berry in there, glary lemon berry. Jesus, and where? Lemon berry. And then next, I got my stack purge truck with a TM24 with the eclipse cap on there. And there I got some Galactic Milk by Transistor again. My lovely, lovely pairing right there. And then for my mouth to lung setup, I got my double barrel with my wake tank on there with the mouth to lung coils in there. And there I got some Sugoi Vapor Ray. It's like a tropical fruit mix. There's a bunch of different fruits on the front of it, but it's freaking delicious. And that is it for me. And I'll pass it over to Clown. Yay. My Yay. turn. Yeah. All right, so first up, I got this beauty, uh, Mr. Ooh. Carruthers. If you're Ooh. in the Discord group, you know of the guy. You know his work. If you follow him on Instagram, yeah, oh. hooked it up with a nice patina on there. And on there, I got the Azeroth. And in that, I am rocking uh, Mar Marcellus back on that train. Got yeah, to get bro. back on there, man. I got a couple of bottles coming my way too, man. Yeah, right. It's good stuff. In a while. Then uh, next, I got the Rig V3 Recoil Rebel DHD Drip Tip. And then I got my own brew, uh, Fruit Basket. 
And then I have the uh, Rage Squonker box that I stripped. You could still see some of the purple on there, but I stripped the hell out of this thing. And on that, I got the Reverie. Nice. In that, I have, what is the uh, Hometown Heroes Wiso Serial? It's pretty Ooh. good. I'm actually liking it. It's legit, man. And then lastly, I got a GoPod system. I've been rocking this thing since, like, I got this juice in, which is the uh, Yami Vapors Tartaro. Thing's really good. Tartaro. Like, it's a, what, 35 milligram? And it's not throaty or anything like that. Like, it's awesome. I'm liking it. All righty. So that is me. And let's 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 chat. You guys want to dive into this a little bit? Um, as you guys can see, uh, we, we don't have JBC on quite yet. And uh, yeah, you guys talk amongst yourselves here in a second. I'm I'm working on something. Sure. Why don't we uh, Why don't we do some shout outs to people in chat? And for that, I'm gonna need my hype man, Mr. Uh, James M. F. Franklin. What's going on, homies? All right, time for that shout out time. Yeah, that's right, guys. It's that time. Oh my God. Yeah, brother. Hey, man, he said get hype, so I'm getting hype. It's Monday. I'm starting it positively. I'm having a good Monday. I hope everybody out there is. Just big shout out to Robert Shorkey. What's going on, my man? Vaping Miner, Mahonky Tonk. <laughs> Mahonky Tonk. Inside Mahonky joke for the rest of you guys that aren't in the Discord. We got Mr. Herb Williams all the way from Canada. What's going on, brother? My man, Danny Castle. Shout outs to Danny. Super cool dude. Super oh, cool man. dude. We got Stevie J, DC Rackley in the house. Our boy, of course. We've been talking about him since the beginning of the show. Coil Image is in the house. What is going on, brother? By the way, guys, if you haven't yet, go follow him on Instagram. Coil underscore image. We got, uh, who else we got in here? We got our moderator holding it down, as always. Frank freaking Wolf, my man. We got Bronco Monk. Is that right? Yep, Bronco Monk, shout outs to you, my dude. And of course, the infamous Sammy Nitro 5150 coils. If you guys haven't Got checked him out on Instagram, check him Yay. out. And of course, Yay. perfect timing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Here's a shout out. We were having technical <laughs> difficulties over here. Hi, guys. I was hey. texting. Welcome. I'm going to crash. Let's get home. Let's do the show. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. We got this going then. I'm officially starstruck and now sidelined. What were we talking about? I kind of uh, I was doing that. shout outs. Um, <laughs> cool. There is one Everybody more shout play. out. One more shout out I want to give out real quick. Mark Cloth. Big shout out to him and those Warlocks mods, the Hammers, the Guardians, and possibly okay. some others in the works, guys. So keep a good eye out for that. Gathering Vapor Lounge on Facebook. Check them out, guys. Yeah, buddy. Good stuff and, right there. And huge shout out, of course, to the one and only JBC, Jennifer Burger Coleman, is in the house, guys. She's here. Yay. I'm excited. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. Uh, what are you vaping on? Yeah, we're just going through the buffet line. Yeah. What you got? Oh, the buffet line. Um, I have some of the M Turk. Um, Oh God, the the Turkish maize, the butterscotch yeah. cool one, yeah. <laughs> and um, what is this one? Raspberry custard from Johnny's Juice. All right. Oh, nice. That yeah. sounds delicious. Speaking it of is. flavors, we're talking about flavors. There's a serious. Uh, there's some serious happenings happening. Um, I mean, it's it's just it's never ending. But this is this is. Um, this is really big, and uh, if you haven't heard about it already, then I don't know where you've been. Have you been living under a rock yeah. if you're in this vape community? Because we've been on uh, on a mission, a really uh, a really important mission over the last couple of weeks uh, to fight Bill S-3319, which is uh, also being called the Safe Kids Act, which is just deplorable. Um, that pisses me off. Uh, but... The wonderful Jennifer Berger Coleman has started a campaign uh, along with some other campaigns, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But we want to just highlight the uh, um, the I Quit Smoking by Vaping Flavors um, campaign that's going on that's really gotten some good traction, had some uh, big influencers on board as well as, you know, everybody has a voice here. But obviously, we need uh, the people who have uh, a wide audience to 
um, to do their part and to, to spread the message, to share the message, because otherwise, how are you going to hear about it unless you're plugged in, unless you're really, uh, you know, unless you're sick like we are in this group and you just buy too much vape shit um, and spend way too much time watching YouTube videos and talking about vaping. So otherwise, uh, I'll, I'll uh, kind of hand that off to the panel and to you, Jen, um, to talk about that campaign that's been going on and, and the impact that it's having and, and what, it's, what, we're, what we're fighting here. Uh, the impact is well. I so the impact. I don't. I don't know yet what the impact will have. Um, my, it's it's huge. It, I expected like a hundred maybe with the hashtag adult like flavors. Um, I you know back a couple years ago I did sort of a, a little bit different thing where I wanted people to email me their testimonial and I was going and dropping them off to like the state senators in California and whatnot. And I mean, maybe I got a hundred over a couple month period. I mean, I realize writing writing a letter is is different um, than than taking a picture. Uh, but you know, I expected. 100 maybe 200 tops and then um i asked like grim green and ruby Roo, and then you know it just spread once they sort of um got on board and 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 turk and i mean just everyone all the all the you know popular kids yeah right <laughs> have a ton of followers <laughs> um got on board and i don't know last i looked i think it was like 6,000 something with the hashtag and that's not counting. I mean, my emails and my DMs have blown up too. And that that's, you know, things that people have done aside from tagging me and using the hashtag. So it's just crazy. I, um, I emailed out a couple hundred of them last Friday. Um, you know, I had to go through and pick and choose a little bit because some of them are, you know, definitely could be considered advertisements for for companies and some of them you know the the hand checky ones and stuff yeah really couldn't go in that round but um so that i i haven't heard word one about it yet i you know i had to decide am i going to send them one by one and and you know to each uh, city council member and just send each one singly, or am I gonna attach them to a couple emails? And I decided that attaching a bunch to a couple emails was probably gonna get me banned not as fast from yeah. like spamming them. <laughs> so I did that and I haven't heard a word. Um, I'm gonna send some more out this week. Like I said, I don't want to. I don't want them to like ban me from emailing yeah, them because yeah. I'm spamming them. But I also want to get the point across. And I feel like the pictures instead of the letters are. I mean, how can you look at some of those pictures and not have a heart? You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like the seventy-year-old yeah. lady one, the the seventy-year-old or the I. It didn't say how old. Years smoking. Yeah. Smoking. Yeah, seventy years. Yeah. How can yeah. you not like have a heart? You know, even these like stone-hearted politicians <laughs> so that's the goal we'll see where it gets us um so yeah i started it originally to to send to the sacramento city council members but then um i was talking to eric vinyl and vapor and we sort of we were like well why don't we put them in a drop box for people you know to save them and that way anyone anywhere can access them absolutely in the flavor ban and the federal one too so so that's what uh, he's helping me with the tech part of that. He we created a Dropbox. He created a Dropbox, and um, and so now I have to kind of move everything over into that once I'm done, you know, picking through them and sending them to the Sacramento City Council. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's great. And so what we're talking about, if you haven't seen it, I have mine right here. Is this sign? You print it. You show it on. You can put it on your. Um, your iPad, if you need to, or your tablet or your computer, you take a picture with it. I or mean, your TV. Or your TV, yeah, with, with Mr. Just Right One with his 100-inch yeah. TV where he looks tiny and he's like <laughs> six foot two. But yeah. this, I mean, it, it, it's meaningful. Like like uh, Jen, Jennifer was saying is that, you know, seeing a face, this, and, and this is the thing we say too, it's not, it's not a time to blow clouds. It's not a time to show what you're vaping on. You know, we're showing people who aren't, vapors and people who are already innately biased because they they listen to 
the other side and don't really know what science it like what the science is behind it they just see from their local publication whether it be fox news or cnn or they read the washington post they're getting all this information and they and they are they're getting they're basically getting gotten to before we can get to them and they think that we're just some you know hooded figures in dark alleys trying to tempt children with with um, you know with with fruits and candies but we are real people and that's what i think um, jen is really impactful about this i mean the letters are obviously really impactful but how can you not look at pictures of people that have been, you know, that are in their 80s or 70s that have been vape or have been smoke had been smoking for 70 years and and are and are standing up, you know, from all all sides of the spectrum, no matter what the color of your skin is, no matter what creed you follow, that this is something that unites us and that um, we're we're now we're not silent. I mean, six thousand people. I mean. Like think about the rule of thirds. It's like if every six, if every person of those six thousand shares it with three people, you. I mean, it's just the impact is um is is it can only grow. So absolutely, and, and that's what really main, struck me about looking through the pictures was the whole cross section of people. You know what I mean? Like younger people, older people, all different. You know, tattooed people, bearded people, not tattooed yeah. bearded bearded people you know yeah, what i mean right. like diff walks every life. different color every different yeah and so that's what i think is really going to be impactful if anything is it's not just you know it's not just the like 20 to 25 year old male or whatever everyone stereotypically thinks of as a vapor you know and that that's what you can really see in the pictures you can't see that in a letter so yeah, definitely yeah. It's so basically awesome. this, this is one fight to on one front. They want to ban flavors. So this is, I mean, this is not new news, but, and this is not the only fight we need to fight. It's just, we're showing that we're not going to go like quietly into that dark night as, uh, as was said in one of my favorite movies of all time, um, quoted from a, a really, uh, uh, well-known poem, but, uh, by Michael Caine in Interstellar. We will not go quietly into that dark night. Um, but, you know, basically, so the FDA is trying to classify nicotine as a drug so they can regulate it because they want money. But this is not talking about that per se. We're talking about, you know, how uh, they're basically trying to uh, choose their own electronic nicotine delivery system. Um, and they're, they're basically trying to choose what, what flavors they want to be a part of this. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. This is maybe hypothetical, but from the track record, if they decide to ban flavors for us, the unregulated, and then decide once they can regulate it through pharma or big tobacco, that then they are like, all right, well, we can release these flavors now, you know? Um, so basically this is just us saying we have a voice. We're not going to just roll over, um, and you know what? You're going to have you're going to have a fight on your hands. And and what I love about it, uh, Jen, is that in saving these things, I, I like I like you know a plan that's a thought is just a thought. But once you make it concrete, which is what you've kind of encouraged people to do, um, you have that material, and we can send it to news publications, and we can make we can make affronts to what we're how we're being affronted you know um so i don't know how the other i know the other homies feel as strongly as i do about this and i don't want to talk too much because i already have so <laughs> hey uh dan what do you think um i wanted to touch on what she was saying with the signs and stuff now i've seen a lot of people doing the sign so a lot of people were just putting the sign up and putting the the numbers on there we like to see the faces we want to you know you can tell a lot a picture tells a thousand words you can see in their face that this is helping them across all walks of life. But what I have seen is people, instead of putting the flavor on there, they're putting like the brand name of something. Like someone put like killer custard on one, or they, they were saying like, even if you put blast off, I don't think the government and everything knows what blast off is. Like, I think that they should be sticking two flavors, Put what flavor got you off of it. Mine was rainbow sherbet. I put on there, rainbow sherbet right so i didn't know if you were getting any like those and weren't sending them out because i think people should be using flavors and not the brand names of stuff because it'll just be confusing yeah i in the very first post that i made before it really took off like the day before it took off when grim green and all them posted it um i i think the post was too long <laughs> um i said don't 
don't put the brand, put, be specific about the flavor, be, you know, strawberry and cream, watermelon, slushy, like whatever it was, that's the important part. Not, not what brand it is, but definitely that the politicians know, like, you know, I'm a 43 year old woman. I, I like apple pie. I like watermelon slushy, whatever. And that's the important part. It's exactly what flavor it is. So, but yeah. yeah. But yeah, if I, whoever's watching this, like I've seen Instagram posts where people are putting those pictures up with the brand names and stuff. I've just been leaving them a little comment like, hey, I think, you know, it's I'm so glad that you stopped. Like, this is awesome. But I, if you can or have time, I would take another picture and tell what flavor that is. Because I don't know what they tried to explain to them. And I've gotten people go, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. All yeah. right. So, you know, I saw you put, I saw put, you put that file. Yeah. I saw you put that on the group too, Dan. When yeah. there was a guy that put it in there, and you just told him, "Yeah, it's awesome that you're doing this, but can you do just this little thing to where just get rid of the brand?" I just know. I just I'm trying to think on the politician side. That would be something they'd be like, "I don't know what that is." That's that's yeah, exactly. I have no idea what that is, and then it's just discredited. So that was my yeah. thought on it. If they don't put the like time to even do the research behind vaping, they're not going to put time to look up a brand, right? You know? Absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> and the name is basically have to look up watermelon slushy. You already yeah. know what that is. They're citing yeah. the act as the um, quote stopping appealing flavors in e-cigarettes for kids act or the safe kids act, like I mentioned before. So there are other campaigns that we're currently running. I call them campaigns. We'll just go with that. You know, it's just us in the community trying to push um, a unified voice and a unified message, which thank you, Jen, again, for this aspect of it. The reason why we're saying don't do hashtag blast off if it hasn't already been made clear is that we're talking about flavors. This, this specific bill is about stopping appealing flavors for kids. And we're showing them you don't have to be a kid. This argument is moot, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna continue to try and jog you into seeing logic and seeing reason, you know, which they already know, but they're trying to convince the people who who are like pliable to what they're saying to think that, oh, you know, this is an epidemic or a pandemic. You know, if it's an epidemic in the United States, that's why we have a lot of Canadians that are on board, which we love our Canadians, the you know, people from uh, you know, the UK. It's if it, if it's an epidemic in the U.S. where thirty percent of the vaping market is, then it's only a matter of time before if that piece falls that it becomes a pandemic, which epidemic is continental, pandemic is global. So it's like yeah. if this is an issue here, then and then we fall silent, then it's going to spread, you know. And they're only going to say, all right, well, look at look look at what the U.S. did. You know, this is a problem. We don't want our kids vaping because it says cotton candy on it and it has little sour patch kids and they're like dancing and you know smiling and saying you know vape me. It's 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 all. It, it doesn't make any sense because they they've done the same thing for years with cigarettes, so we know that. Yeah. But we're just trying another another thing to try and say, hey, you're wrong, um, and get people that don't know to understand that their grandma's doing it and your grandma vapes because it saved her life and your grandma's going to be around for 10 more years, however many more years because she chose a safer alternative and that's what this is. It's like with yeah. me, like I found out about vaping because my mom vapes. You know what I mean? Like I would have never made that switch if she wouldn't have started vaping before me and she vaped for a couple years before I even tried it. You know what I mean? And then it's just like, it, like you said, it's that trickle down effect. You know, like a lot of the, a lot of people don't see the older beat crowd because they're not as active in, you know, like the social media and like that aspect of it. They are, they are in the groups. Like you'll find them in the Facebook groups and stuff like that, but they're not like super all upfront about it. Like everybody else is on Instagram. So a lot of people don't realize that they're there, that people from all ages, you know, vape. like I'll, I'll go to my local shop and literally see one guy walk in with like a suit and tie the next guy's walking in with like some basketball shorts and some sandals on, you know, and then like you know, there's people with like a mom just dropped their kids off at school running in to grab a bottle of juice or something, you know, just like pe people from all over from different ages, different races. And mm -hmm. it's like it's just crazy that the government are like the FDA doesn't see this and they don't understand that this is something that saved all these people's lives and can continue to save thousands of more or if not millions you know it's it just baffles me that they don't want to even look at 
you know, the, some of the studies that have been done or, you know, just the proof in all of us here and all that are watching out there. Just like we're the we're the proof here that it works. You know what I mean? And like Jennifer's actually posted some of her, you know, her breathing. Uh, I don't know what the word for it is, but like the charts from like her last visit and it's, it shows right there, the improvement and it's just, it happens guys. And it's just so crazy that they're so blind to it. It's like all the science is out there. All the science that the politicians need to say, this is a good thing is out there, but they're just swiftly ignoring it. And it, it bugs the living hell out of me because you have all this research that's being done. And they're just turning the blind eye towards it. I don't think they're turning a blind eye. We all know it comes back to money. Yes. Yeah. It is. They Come see on. that we're hitting them in their pocket and they're scared shitless. So they're coming up with ways so that they can put money back into their pocket. And That's all we can do is cater to a group message. If there are that many of us that are doing this, I mean, even 6,000, that's not to say that that isn't having an impact. And uh, speaking of group message, like too, one, like, like, yeah. these t-shirts, guys, <laughs> if you haven't seen them yet, they're on Teespring. All these proceeds are going towards advocacy. Back? And it also says, I quit smoking by vaping.com. If you guys haven't checked out that website yet, make sure you guys go check it out. It is live. There's also an Instagram we've created. There's a Facebook group too. That if you guys want to, you know, join that and get involved or, you know, just helps, helps keep you in the loop. Like it, yep. It's a good cause guys. There's a lot of great people behind this campaign as Swaggins is calling it. And uh, I'd like to call it that too, is because like, I'm, I'm not going down without a fight. Yeah. I'm going to do whatever I can in my power to keep flavors because if it wasn't for the flavors, I never would have quit smoking to begin with. Here's the deal. We are, uh, we know who our enemy is and we know we're the underdog. And that's like, have you ever watched a movie ever? You know, about like a sports team that's the underdog. Have you ever seen sports like the Patriots? They lost this past Super Bowl and everybody was so excited if you're not a Patriots fan because the Patriots are the giant and they're the bureaucracy, if you will, like for the purpose of this analogy. We know our enemy and we know our message and we know that we're the underdog. We should be rallying to this. You know, we should, you should be upset. I mean, smile if you want to smile because you're happy that you've quit, you've quit smoking and that flavors helped you for me it was somber because i know that i'm serious about what's the message is and we're asking you to unify around that message and thank you jbc for giving us that message um is there is there anything else like can you speak to some of the people and to us and let us know what we can continue to do you know is you know if are we fighting a losing battle even if we are fighting a losing battle should we just roll over should we you know do it and then be like whatever just do it to do it fall in line what, what should we be doing no way never roll over um i don't think we're fighting a losing battle um i think it's a little more encouraging i know that a couple of um the big media outlets have reached out to some of the advocates wanting to do um stories, wanting to do interviews. I just did an interview with one of the big media outlets uh, on Saturday that I'll post when it comes up. They can, awesome. they're editing it and all that stuff um, for Bloomberg and, you know, which is very typically anti-vaping, you know, Bloomberg funnels a lot of money into New York and the politics and the anti-vaping bills and whatnot. And um, this reporter contacted me and said, hey, like none of this makes sense to me, but I want to hear the other side of the story. And she was rad. Um, and I know that a couple other people have gotten contacted by like CBS and whatnot. Um, they kind of want to hear a different side of the story. And so it's not hopeless. I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the more we get the word out there, just like with any other struggle in history that, you know, initially people are believing sort of what they hear from the government and from people who don't vape and whatnot. But did you guys see the Thing Stefan posted on not blowing smoke today. The um, the Department of Education in California came out with the numbers of 
So, uh, you know, supposedly the jeweling, the kids are jeweling, and oh god, that just drives me nuts. Yeah. The numbers are yeah. down. Um, right, yeah. and so jewel became popular, you know, somewhere between 2015 and now, and it's supposed to be this huge epidemic, yet the numbers of vaping and smoking all across the board in youth have gone in like half. So yeah. it doesn't make sense. You can't say it's this huge epidemic that flavors are attracting children exactly. because the numbers are going down. So how can you say that? That doesn't make any sense. So, and that reporter on Saturday, you know, questioned me extensively about that, about like, well, what are the numbers? Why, why do you think people think this is an epidemic? And she said it comes down to, you know, basically like, rich kids with too much time on their hands whose parents don't watch them that end up vaping or whatever the case may be and then these people the parents are very influential you yeah. know and they influence the politicians and whatnot so we think it's an epidemic i mean of course well, it's, it's sort of the, it's sort of the same thing with like the opioid crisis like all of a sudden now rich white kids are having pain and getting addicted to opioids well you know addiction to heroin and whatnot has been around forever yeah but it doesn't care about your, your yeah. financial Probably. status yeah yeah you're right though so, in, in that sense yeah, well, there's that 5%. mom that wants to sue, sue Jewel because her kid's addicted to nicotine now, even though where Jesus the fuck Christ. was she to, like, watch <laughs> over him? Addicted to nicotine. All right, well, how many coffees does your kid have a day? How many trips to yeah. Starbucks does he take? How many monsters does he drink yeah. throughout the week? It comes down to parenting and, and parents needing to take responsibility and stop, like, relying on government to do everything. But at the same time, if media is, you know, which is 5%, let's say media is, you know, five, 1%. 5%, whatever, a small percentage is media and they, that their influence is the other 95%, you know, then we need to be using media like what JBC has done with, with the, the, and then, and then utilizing the people who have big audiences and even us who have, have a small audience to, to continue a message of if they're going to use media to dis, to misinform and spread fake news and lies, then we're going to use media in a, in a, in a, Oh, the same way that they can because we have access to all the same tools and we can edit and, and not swear and, you know, and be professional and be like, this is who I am. This is what I do. These are the facts. And I love the fact that someone sat down with you um, just recently and I hope it happens more often and I hope it happens with more people. Um, and they say yes to these opportunities and not no out of bitterness that these are opportunities from their bigger, this, this is bigger than any one of us here. Um, Absolutely. That, we are, that we are continuing to, to fight to, for the people that haven't had the chance to switch yet, um, that, that cigarettes will go away. You know, let, let the next futuristic movie not have anybody smoking cigarettes in it, but vaping, because that's what the future is really going to look like. Exactly. Um, talking about that, like I feel um, to a point, maybe local education, like Issa Khaleesi, a couple of was it last week, he, like last weekend he was tearing apart going from like vape shop to vape shop, asking people to take the pictures, letting them know what was going on. And I feel like the average vape shop and your average vapor probably doesn't know anything of what's going on. Right. You know? The this is the one who sent the picture of that lady with the 70 years yeah. smoking. Yeah. 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 And I mean, it's one of those things of actually going into shops and talking to people, see what they know, how aware they are of certain things that are going on. Because I mean, like... I was vaping about three years in before I found out about vaping videos on YouTube. Yeah. Same I here. was like kind of by myself, whatever the shop told me, that's by what I went by. And they were not the best source for anything, right. to be honest. Yeah. I had the same experience the first time I went in to go grab my first setup. Like I asked the guy, I was like, well, you know, I just quit smoking. And like, what's the best setup for me? And like, he, like, he didn't even really know what to give me he, like he's just like someone that stood behind the counter and just you know somebody came and said i want that and he just sold it to him not without even knowing anything about it and i get, yeah. ended up with a pretty decent kid at the end of the day but like i got spent way overpriced it, it like i i got had to be yeah honest, like the first time i went well, to the shop it's kind of it's what you go through at first you know, when you're yeah. jumping into anything new. Anything, oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? Look at any kind of sport you jump into. You're dishing out money right at the beginning. When I walked into a vape shop. I walked out with like an high stick Pico. I still spent a hundred bucks. But then you start learning more and more and make friends in this community and share information with each other. And it just, 
Dude, yeah. this is my favorite thing. This is the best thing I ever found. I love this. Man. I love talking to you guys, yeah. and it's just fun to talk vape stuff. I work in a shop sometimes, and it's one of the fun things to do to get people off cigarettes. Honestly, and that's one of the reasons why I fight, I'm fighting so hard for this is because I love the community. Honestly, I never felt like I was so part of something until I found the vape community okay. and found the group that, you know, the Stooge crew and the Omis and, and the group that we have. Like, honestly, I, I was always just kind of like the outcast or the kind of kid that just tagged along or whatever, just because I never really knew where I fit. And then, like, once I found this community and, like, the community or, like, our family and the Stooge crew and everything else, it's just like, I, I honestly wouldn't, I don't know what I would do if I wasn't a part of this. That's why I want to fight so hard for it because I'm so passionate about it and just, like, love the people that I've met through it and just the connections I've made and just, you know, just everything that surrounds it, not so much the fact that it got me to quit smoking, which is ultimately the whole reason why I did it. And I'm so glad that I finally did because, you know, it's the best thing I could, ever could have done. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and then just having the community aspect that comes along with it, it's, it's a win-win situation. You know what I mean? It's just that's why mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know what I'd do without this community. And that's why I fight so hard for it. And I'm so advocate heavy on my Instagram. And, you know, every time I – post a video in any like the stooge crew or the omis or every time we're on here that's why we push advocacy so hard guys because we're all so passionate about this community and we love this community and we don't want it to go anywhere yeah this is a that's great community because i mean even like every last little milestone like when you start vaping you're maybe doing something high milligram and if you join a group or you're with some people that you know and you're like hey i just dropped to this milligram level they you know they'd like it's one of those things of you kind of feel that community sense where people actually like they're like dude that's awesome you know it's like nothing like there's no shaming in like a true reality i mean some there's always some bad apples in anything you do but the majority tends to be just full support and Absolutely. to me that i mean like kind of like james was saying i was a musician like james you do this too and you know, you kind of try to find your your little path in playing music, but you never really find buddies you actually want to yeah. spend all your time with. You know, and it's crazy. Like every day, on the on, it's like clockwork. On my first break at work, first thing I do is I hop on Discord and see who's hanging out in the chat just to talk about you know whatever vape news is going on that day, or you know to hear if someone got a new setup, or you know just just to talk. And then half the time it starts off vape topic, and then we go off just talking about real life situations. And then just like, okay, my break's up. I got to go back into work. And the whole time I'm working, like, all right, I can't wait till lunch to go hop in with the, the, all the Stooges and, you know, just chat and just hang out. And then routine every day. As soon as I get home, I get home, shower, eat a little something, jump on the computer, and it's back to the Discord hanging out with all the Omis and the Stooge crew and just everybody. And it's honestly, one of the things I look forward to most in my day, no matter what kind of day I'm having, as soon as I jump in the Discord, like, I'm just... I'm happy. You know what I mean? I'm surrounded by great people. Uh, you know, part, probably the best family. Uh, I don't call us a community in the Stooge crew. I, we're a family wholeheartedly because there's, like Dan was saying, there's no shaming. It, it's nothing but acceptance. Everybody's willing to lend a helping hand. You know what I mean? And that's honestly what I've said it before. What more can you ask for? It's like, I can honestly gush all day about the community because, like, <laughs> the, honestly, I love it. And it's something I, I'm so blessed and honored to be a part of. And I'm going to fight for it till the end, no matter what it takes. Yep. I Take definitely more. feel in the last, like, few months especially that it. I feel like everything has gotten really advocacy heavy um everywhere like everyone you know of course not not some there are some that won't yeah. and who, but yeah. for the most part even the people who weren't really participating so much before i feel like i don't know maybe it was the fda comment period thing that sort of everyone jumped on and got behind i i don't really know what it is but i feel like the sense of community has kind of come back because there was a good little while there where you know honestly vaping was so fragmented it, you yeah. know, it was yeah. a train Absolutely. people were on on the internet were afraid to do too much advocacy stuff because people didn't want to see it it's like oh you know people don't want to hear about it all the time and that's why it's awesome that we're not tied to being vape reviewers or whatever not to call them out 
uh, straight out, but we talk about this because this is what we're passionate about and this matters uh, above all else. I mean, that this is the surface and under the surface, I mean, we'll talk to you in you know on the discord about other stuff we'll talk about the setups we're rocking what we just bought and this new juice that's delicious um but this is the most pressing matter right now the other stuff matters too but this the other stuff doesn't exist without talking impressing upon you guys um how important advocacy is and we'll talk about advocacy every single show and if you tell us that you're bored of it then you can go somewhere else and and and, and enjoy not vaping anymore because because your voice matters and we need your voice to be a part of this. Um, so to kind of transition a little bit or to go back and then to transition, um, you know, talking about vape shops um, and how they're not informing and whatnot. Well, li uh, little, little peachy, is, it, is she, is it just peachy, just peachy, just peachy. Just little peachy, just peachy. I mean, God bless her. Like, huge following vape model and, sh and like, it just it makes me smile ear to ear to see her and her passion her putting that in there we started with the fda comment period and she jumped on board and like i fell in love with her and then then all of a sudden she posts her picture i fell in love with her even more and then she's at a vape shop saying like i'm at a vape shop and come to the vape shop and, and we can hang out and and take your pictures and the vape shop supports her and she goes there like imagine if more personalities with followings did that imagine if you went to ecc or nve and you had on every at every booth you had people with whiteboards that say you know adult hashtag adults like favors and you just fill in and you take a picture there and oh you do you have to give it like legally i don't know if you can give away free swag or whatever but if you have to you want some stickers i'll give you a, i'll give you a grip of stickers if you come and you take this picture you should want to do it anyways but we're human beings people like to be like incentivizing things imagine if that was the route we went in imagine if all it took was everybody that's following or watching right now the 40 people that are watching plus the six of us that are that are sitting here that's more than enough people to be able to spread that message and and have and have our voices heard in these kinds of formats and make a huge difference for vaping there's a shop near me that actually. There's a shop near me that actually goes around with like they have those pictures post like they have people take the pictures they post them on their social media and then they actually take the actual sheets and put them on their walls inside of the shop, which I think is the greatest thing because you have those people that are walking in, you get those people that even start vaping at seeing how many people change to this life changing product and. They ask the question, what's this about, right? Yeah, exactly. You walk into a bar and you see like dollar bills pinned everywhere. They're what's that their about? Interest. Right? What were you going to say, attention. Jen? Oh, and, that, and that honestly, talking about the vape shops is where people are getting the, where the biggest cross section of people, the pictures are coming from. Like, God bless the people who are sitting in vape shops and taking those pictures because yeah. That lady who quit smoking, you know, 70 years, I seriously doubt she's on Instagram. I mean, right. maybe she right. is, but, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. but you know what I mean? Like we're in, in the whole scheme of things, the however many million or, you know, hundreds of thousands of people that vape in this country were the minority, the, the 6,000 people that have sent, you know, their pictures to me, that's, that's a minority. But, we kind of live in this little bubble and we think, oh, this must be all the people that vape because we see all the same people every day. We, yeah. you know, yeah. posting and doing the same things, but there's, we're, we're such the minority and, you know, so yeah, that's where, that's where the biggest um, cross section of ages and, and races and everyone is coming from the pictures in the vape shops. And what I was going to say was um, Christine Salazzo sent me, she blew up my phone this weekend. Thank you, Christine, of um, being at NBE. Uh, I don't know. She sent like 80 pictures or something that she got all the pictures at, at NBE of people holding that sign. Eric um, was there too, wasn't he? So that was rad. What's that? Eric was there too, wasn't he? And Rich, yeah. remember when he was taking yeah. pictures of being some of his. Okay, so talking, speaking to, um, speaking to all all of that, and you know, vape shops and Instagram or not Instagram, uh, we have something to give away. The giveaway is not today. We're going to give you until next week, and then we'll do the drawing. Um, basically, we want you to post a picture of yourself. Uh, if you've done it already, that's great. Do it again. Uh, I'm even going to do it again uh, with your sign, and you're going to hashtag underneath that. Uh, adults like flavors, but you're also going to hashtag 
um, uh, what, what did I, what did I say? Oh yeah. Hashtag Omi's advocate. O H M I E S advocate. Frank, if you could just post that for me, I appreciate it. Um, Thank you, but you're going to bet you're going to post the second one because one, the Omi's do advocate, but that way we can track that because adults like flavors is going to have a lot more. And we want to make sure it's you guys in here that are watching that are going to be a part of this. And basically we're going to go through those hashtags over the week and we'll pick a winner uh, for uh, clown. You can show it off and you can tell us a little bit about it. Uh, this, this giveaway for next week. And I will start with a uh, give coil image, uh, a big thank you. Give him a follow as a thank you. But uh, he sent us his lovely, lovely uh, Omi's kit. Look at that. That's awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I could open this sucker. And inside of it, you got, you got scissors, you got wire cutters, all sorts of stuff, some cotton. But most importantly, you got several uh, coils. Let's see if this thing will focus or the light won't screw with it. But uh, nice you get some coils, you get some aliens, some fralians, some frame staples, all the coils to, to like, you know, vape your face off, as Bogan says. And seriously, guys, it's a, it's a very beautiful kit. If it weren't for the fact that it's meant for what it's meant, I would take it for myself. But <laughs> jokes aside, seriously, I mean... Huge shout out to Coil Image for that, man. Nothing yeah, but love for him, man. He, for you reaching out to us and wanting to do that for our viewers, man. That's nothing but love for you, man. So like Clown said, make sure you guys go give him a follow. Go show him some love on his Instagram, guys, because dude, dude, just a super down-to-earth guy, makes amazing coils, and he's hooking you guys up. Like, Look, it's right there, Frank. Frank put a link to it. All you got to do is get awesome. awesome. yeah, Just click there, hit that, that you know, follow button. You're good to go. Yeah, who, said, advocate, who said advocating got you nothing? Right. <laughs> well, it, it lets you keep your stuff. That, that's yeah, a, that's yeah. something. But you're going to get stuff to make new coils, and you're going to get a bunch of sets of, you know, builder coils. Like, not, you not like Chinese mass produced ones, which, if you like those, that's great. I have a pre rolled spool, but you get actually, you know, hand built in the USA, blood, sweat, and tears, then cleaned in a ultrasonic cleaner. So, you know, they're good to vape on. Yeah. Uh, coils <laughs> uh, for your pleasure. Just, do what we told you to do. Frank freaking Wolf, thank you for posting that. It's right there. If you need the sign, he sent you a link for it. Also, uh, hashtag I quit smoking by vaping. I quit smoking by vaping.com is up. We have a Facebook group as well. This is a place for you to be able to see, you know, the campaigns that are going on to get the real information, to stay educated because the best, um, the best way to be able to defend vaping and to advocate vaping is being educated, being able to speak reasonably to people who don't know and who are misinformed, um, you know, and tell them uh, why, you know, flavors are okay and and why, you know, why the other people are wrong, why the, you know, the, the news publications that are saying all these bad things, why they're wrong and why you vape and why it's a safer alternative and why it's a, it's a, it's a legitimate cessation, um, uh, device uh and how it's how it saved your life and improved your your you know your way of life uh that's my spiel yeah. jen you is there anything else amazing. you've been oh. you've been like reposting and put, telling people to do the sign and everything you guys are awesome this has just been awesome this is like totally warmed my heart like i said there there was a space and time there where you know, vaping the community, it was just a shit show. It was like everyone was so fragmented and let's do this and let's do that and, you know, support this group who's going to steal your money and blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. you know, I think it really got people down for a while. And I, this has just been, this has been so awesome. And, you know, between you guys and, like I said, the I even you know, I got a DM from Bogan this morning asking if I could use his picture, which is awesome um, yeah. like i was Bogan's like i already awesome did dude. i hope oh, it was okay because i already did last week um <laughs> I'm thinking, like, people, like, people from canada people from like south africa i mean all these people from everywhere and then mm. you know of course we have eric vinyl and vapor and yeah. chuck allen and pimping it out and they have chuck, yeah. follow oh i love chuck 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 is the best He's an awesome um, dude Mm -hmm. And when they pimp stuff out, like people listen, you know, because they're very like, do this and yeah, you know. absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, 
I told you before, I, I mentioned, I commented on Instagram. I was like, you're the general. You tell us what to do. We listen to the general. We're going for it. So anything is just the, the only one. He's the, the one leading the charge, and that's what's great about it. Yeah. We have a good name to stand behind what the message we're trying to bring across. You organize us, we'll follow. We'll follow you into battle. Let me just I say, JBC, you're my hero. Oh, you guys are mine. I was gonna. I keep telling, I keep telling everyone like you guys are doing all the work. I pimped it out and I'm collecting them, but you guys are doing the work. Like you're the one getting the pictures and sending them to me. That's what pictures do. That's what we're here. I'm not doing shit. You guys are doing it. (laughs) (laughs) I can't do it without you guys. Well, you put the best foot forward, and we're just following. That, that's, Absolutely, that's how it, how it goes. You know, what? and that's that's how it works. Everybody, everybody can have a voice. Whether you're a JBC or a Clown Vapes or a James Franklin or an Omilanta or you know even even Stan from Tenacious TX Vapes, whoever that guy is. Uh, I think he made uh, a couple products. Some uh, bastard. You know, <laughs> or Grim Green. It's like. Yeah. We, we, we talk to them. It's, 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 uh, it's up to us too as well. You know, not that Grim needs us to help him stay accountable, but it's like with ideas, if you have an idea, reach out to somebody with it, with an audience or an influence. I mean, they'll listen. It's like, imagine linking Grim Green's YouTube to your message to your state representative saying, you know, this person, you know, has a following of almost 400,000 people and they are pro vaping. And then they see that, you know what that says to them? That's 400,000 votes. Okay. Maybe we yeah. can turn some of these, some of these people around to say, all right, would I rather stay in office or would I rather collect money? Will I be able to collect money in a different way? We just want to save flavors here. And we want to continue to fight the fight and to continue to be able to enjoy this and the community that was built around this and also being healthier and living longer. I'm our, I'm a lefty. I already know I'm going to live like what, 10 years less long than righties. Okay. So I need to, I need to find every way I can to prolong as much of my life as I can. Um, that's, that's all I got to say about that. Hey, I'm with you on the same thing. <laughs> I, I seriously, my sign is right here on this wall next to me. And it says I've ate for 13 years. I started at the age of 13 with Marlboro reds and for a 13 year old, I think that's a little hardcore, but still, uh, what? I found vaping through a friend that just told me, hey, they're selling these cigalite looking thingies. You should go buy one. And I still have it. I still keep the thing just because it's one of those weird memory things for me. And I mean, I've upgraded tremendously, but it's I've been seriously, I'm 32. And at the age of 26, I picked up vaping and I've been cigarette free since. So, I mean, it's one of those things it tells you and you could feel the difference. Everything tastes better. You Your breathing issues kind of go away. I live in Texas. Yeah. So I have horrible allergies, but I think I'd be worse off with smoking. Yeah, I'm right there with not, I got terrible allergies. And I'm not waking I'm up in the morning coughing up, coughing up that nasty stuff. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Never. Well, again. that was sort of one of the one of the points I made to that um, journalist on Saturday was, you know, if you if you look back at the smoking trends and whatnot, and when I was a teenager, when I started smoking in like 1990. Um, you know, from 1990 to I think 98 was when it hit its peak. I mean, I think it was the highest of all time. It was like 28% of people in high school were smoking and we didn't have flavors. We didn't have vaping. We had Marlboro and Camel. That's all we had. And yet huge numbers of us were smoking. And then, but it took apple pie for me to quit. You know, I smoked for 25 years, Marlboro and Camel only. And I didn't quit with tobacco. I quit. Exactly. Yeah apple freaking pie yeah. so the what they're saying and the numbers just don't make any sense no, the, they don't. the numbers contradict completely what they're saying and we know that so we just continue to hit every side of of the the, the puzzle until we find a way to solve it um however how we just chip away however we can and that's the message and hopefully you guys feel a little encouraged i mean jbc's here uh, and she's she shares the same message that that we have been telling you, and and uh, and she helps to lead uh, the fight, and she puts that little extra effort in, you know, which all of us can do, like she said. Um, it just it, us sharing and reposting. That's basically what we're doing for her, and 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 what she does for us. So thank you, uh, JBC, uh, for being on the Omis tonight with us, for taking oh. some time to talk with us. And James, go ahead. Uh, I just want to ask Dan, what does JBC stand for again? 
bacon cheeseburger? Yeah, bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> she's, my, she's my junior bacon cheeseburger. I love her. Uh, One day we will all get together and eat some junior bacon cheeseburgers. That's the goal. Goals right there. Yes. Deal. Yep. Deal. I'm See, down. Awesome. All right, so you're free next Tuesday then, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're making a date. I'm putting it in a calendar. You said it. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. It'd be awesome. <laughs> Thank you, JBC, for coming on. I'm I'm glad you got to finally make it on. It third time's the charm, but it worked. Yeah. Exactly Thanks how for it having me. Out. Yes, no problem. Absolute honor to have you on, Jennifer. Like I said, I... I've been looking up to you since, you know, I started hearing about the advocacy and stuff like that and started seeing all your posts. And I just kind of tried following in your footsteps and, you know, just trying to spread the word to as many people as I can. And just thank you for doing what you do. Everybody appreciates it. I know all the homies do and everybody that's watching. So definitely, much love and respect to you for our, all the hard thank work. You. I love all, all right. you guys. Yeah. All right. I'm so. We, we we love you. Uh, thank you again. Um, the I got to go eat dinner. So <laughs> hey, guys, um, remember the giveaway for that coil kit. Uh, hashtag adults like flavors. Taking a picture of yourself with your son. Also hashtag homies advocate. Um, clown, why don't you why don't you uh, do that thing that you do where you magically make us all vape and then the show ends? Yeah. Uh, well, real quick, right before that. Uh, on chat while we were talking about the giveaway uh clean f coils he wants to uh, sweeten the pot for everybody and send some stuff so hey that just gives you even more of an incentive i mean other than keeping your vape gear in the first place too. Yeah. yeah so you know they're clean f clean yeah f. they're clean f <laughs> all right clean guys f. so i get it now oh isn't that something uh all right so as always, thanks for, for being here another week. Uh, thanks to JBC for being on with us. Appreciate it much. Thanks and uh, seriously, guys, keep up your advocacy. Like, Try to follow anything you can. Kasa.org, uh, Not Blowing Smoke. Any group you can find on Facebook. Anything you could follow on Instagram, Twitter. Smokingbyvaping.com. Yeah. There's yeah. lots of avenues to find your information. Don't think that there isn't. And spread the word. Anybody you know, vapors, non-vapors, educate a little bit. Don't be an ass about it, but educate a little bit. Right, you're right. You know? All right, guys. So uh, see you next week. And as always, vape on. Next on.